Hello everyone, gonna do a video on a smork, smoked pork butt for some delicious pulled pork sandwiches. Went to the meat market, bought a pork butt, it's about six pounds. First thing you want to do is clean it up. I'm gonna cook this in my smoke hollow electric smoker if you want to see how it's set up and basic use of the smoke hollow smoker go to my other two videos baby back ribs or the smoked pork loin this one I'm just going to go through the process of smoking the pork butt for pulled pork this one was about oh twenty bucks for six pounds a little cheaper than that but it's just for my wife and I you can freeze this, eat what you can, and then freeze the rest. It freezes really good, and you can take it out and cook her up at a later time. With the pork butt, you want to cook it slow, low and slow, so it takes a while. Um, it's a pretty easy cut of meat to cook. It's pretty forgiving it's hard to mess up it just takes a while to cook it usually I'm gonna cook this at about 210 to 220 for oh anywhere from 8 to 12 hours first thing you want to do is get it out and trim up some of the fat and rinse the meat off really good clean it up and then dry it off Right now I'm going to take it out of the bag and just rinse it with some cold water. Rinse it off really well. Okay, I got it rinsed off. Here's what it looks like. Flip it over. There's a big skin of fat on the bottom side. And we'll just go with a knife and cut off any big lumps that are sticking out lumps of fat usually when you're cooking this and I learned the first time I did it you get kinda nervous because the temperatures goes up pretty quick but then once it reaches about 150 to 170 it just stops so don't get nervous and we'll take you through the process as I'm doing it so you'll be able to see what happens with temperatures and time but you can see like this fat hanging out here just trim that off you don't have to get too carried away I mean there's a little piece kind of a big chunk hanging right there that I'm going to trim off. I'll do that now. I won't put it on video. With the pork buck there's kind of a flap right here and inside there's a big chunk of fat. That's the main piece that I like to get out. I already cut it out but it's usually right in between the flap here. Some people leave it in but I like to cut it out. As you can see there's quite a bit of fat that's kind of marbled throughout the meat and you want that what happens is when you're cooking it this fat melts and it absorbs into the meat and makes it real moist at a certain temperatures around 170 it'll start to melt a little bit like cooking a brisket I haven't perfected the brisket yet that's a hard one to cook but it reaches about 170 then the fat starts to melt and dissolve into the meat slowly till you reach around 195 to 200 degrees okay we got all the fat trimmed off 
This is the night before I'm going to cook, and what I like to do is marinate, inject the meat with a marinade, and the only, and is all I use, I like to do things simple, is about a cup of, about two cups of apple juice and maybe a quarter cup of this apple cider vinegar. What I'm going to do is just, you want to get yourself an injector, a meat injector. I'm going to bring that over here, mix up my marinade, and inject it really good. So you just have your ingredients, you stick it in and pull, pull up on the plunger here and it sucks up the juice. And maybe just go about every couple inches in a checkered pattern. Just like this. You won't use all of this injecting. So when we're done, we're going to put it in a bag and pour the rest of it inside the bag all over the meat. As you're doing this, kind of push it down and pull it up and move on to the next spot. Just throughout the whole thing. I'll do that now. This side's a little quicker. Flip it over and do the other side. Just fill her up as much as it'll hold. Okay, we're done injecting. We used less than half. So now what we're going to do is get a big plastic bag, dump the rest of the juice in, and put her in the fridge and let her sit till morning when we start cooking. Okay, we put it in uh, the two gallon Ziploc bags work the best and then you probably want to get a Tupperware bowl or something to put it in in case it leaks. Let all, Get all the air out of the bag so the juice flows around the meat. Put Maybe put the fat side up so the the meat's absorbing the juice. We'll put it in the fridge and We'll be back in the morning to start cooking. Okay, everyone, it's the next morning. It's about oh, 6.30. We're going to pull it out of the fridge and rinse it off again really good with cold water. Okay, we got the, mince, the meat rinsed off really good, and I patted it dry with paper towels. Uh... So all we're going to need next, we need some mustard, keeping it simple again. I, I use this uh, meat market barbecue seasoning. Just go to your meat market and ask them what to, for, for the rub, tell them what you're doing cooking a pork butt. But the basic ingredients in these, you can make your own too, there's a lot of different rubs you can use. but. The basic ingredients is usually just sugar, paprika, onion powder, garlic powder, maybe a little hickory flavor, smoke, you know, a little pepper, chili. Some people put chili powder, but I just use this to keep it simple. And it's good. And you'll need some brown sugar. I like. My meat sweet. First put the mustard on. This is the glue. Just helps hold the rub on. Uh, some people use olive oil, vegetable oil, or you know they mix this, the mustard with honey and put that on. I just I just use the mustard. Basically, all you do is put put it on and rub it all over all the ends. Flip it over and do the other side too. Okay, we got the mustard on. Now we're gonna put the rub on. Just sprinkle it liber liberally. Try to get it 
in all the flaps, all the ends. Just get it coated good with the rub. Okay, we got the meat coated with the rub. Ends, sides, everywhere. Flip it over, do the other side. And now we're going to go get the smoker ready. We'll put the brown sugar on after this sits a little bit. Okay, we got the smoker going. The meat's been sitting out for about a half hour with just the rub. Now we're going to put some brown sugar on top. I'll do that now. Okay, we got the brown sugar on. Put it on the ends, everywhere, flaps, just like you did the rub. Now when we cook this, we're going to cook it with the fat side facing up. So the, the fat melts and soaks down into the meat. And then the smoke will come up into the bottom half of the meat. The opposite side of the fat. Okay, with the pork butt, it's kind of two pieces of meat flapped together. So what I do is stick a couple of these nails, cooking nails in. Or I could use the cooking cord and tie it up. But it's better to try to keep the meat together when you're cooking. Okay, it's been about an hour since we started. 7.30... 7.23, so we'll put it on at 7.30. Don't forget to put your meat thermometer in before you put it on. Keep track of the... In, and put it in uh, the thickest part of the meat and try to stay away at least a half inch away from any bones. Okay, I put it on the center rack. I'm using hickory wood. And half water and half apple juice for my liquid center rack and we'll shut the door 730 in the morning and get smoking again if you want to see how the smoke hollow how to set it up in a little bit more about the process of the smoke hollow electric smoker go to the video baby back ribs or the pork loin When you first start up, heat up your smoker really good. Uh, I open the door and just put it in, so we're at 150 now. I'm going to bring it up to about, I don't know if you can see this, but it's about 150. We're going to bring it up to about 210 to 220, and that's what we're going to cook all day long. Got good smoke coming out. We'll come check the wood and the liquid about every hour or so okay it's been about 15 minutes we got good smoke flowing temperatures about 210 for the first two to three hours you want to get really good smoke on the meat and the meat temperature right now is about can't see it but it's 45 degrees We'll come back in about an hour. Okay, it's been about one hour. We'll run out and check it. Everything's running good. Still smoking good. Our temperature's a little above 200. First two, three hours you can run her a little lower to get some good smoke going. And the meat temperature is at... Ah, 75 degrees. We'll come back in another hour. 9.32. It's been two hours. Let's go look. Okay, it's still smoking really good. I, I did, after an hour and a half, replenish the wood and the liquid. Um, we're running about a little above 200 still. And the temp internal meat temperature is at 111 degrees that's after two hours we'll come back in another hour maybe two hours
Okay, we got three hours, 1031. Let's see what's doing. Here, we're still smoking good. The temperature is right, right at 200. We can crank her up just a little bit now, maybe to get it up to 220 or so. And my internal temperature. Let's see here in a second. 135 degrees, that's after three hours. We'll come back in an hour or two. It's been about four hours and 15 minutes. I just wanted to come back real quick and show you. The temperature is at 154 now. It climbed up really quick. I cranked the heat up just a hair. She's running about one or 220 right now. About 220. I haven't added any more wood. I did replenish the water after four hours. The wood you don't have to pay too much attention to now. It's pretty well smoked. The meat's smoked. And it won't take much more smoke. Now usually at this 150 to 170 mark, it slows down a lot. But we'll kind of keep track of it and see what happens. It's been about four hours and 15 minutes we'll stop back oh about a half hour okay everyone it's been a little over five hours and we are at 163 degrees that's all I wanted to show you for right now five hours 163 it slowed down a little bit okay it has been six hours exactly and we have 171 degrees There's what it looks like after six hours. It's got a nice looking bark on it. That's the fat on top. It's a little bit darker and then the meat down. A little lower. It's a little nice mahogany color. Looks good. We'll close the door and keep cooking. Okay, usually after it reaches about 170 or so, I do take some apple juice. It's easier in a spray bottle, but I lost mine, so I take some apple juice and just spread it all over the meat. So I'll do that now and close her back up. Okay, it's exactly eight hours, and as you can tell, 167. We are at the dreaded stall. It even dropped a couple degrees. So, if you want, you can take it out, put it in a tin foil pan, or wrap it up in tin foil, and then stick it back in. That usually cooks it a little faster. But I'm going to see what happens here in an hour. See if we can get past the stall. Actually, this last time it was uh, seven hours not eight hours I said eight hours so we'll come back at eight hours see if we can get past this stall okay now we're at eight hours and our temperature is 174 so it took us two hours to raise because we were at 171 so we raised two degrees is all or three degrees in two hours that was the stall it's still stalled we'll see how long it will wait another hour see what happens and as you can tell we're at about 240 so it's running a little hotter to see if we can get past this stall I want to keep it about 230 though so I'll turn it down just a hair Okay, we're still at eight hours, as you can tell. The, the the temperature just went up another two degrees, so 176. So in two hours, we went up five degrees. We're getting past the stall. Okay, it's been ten hours, and we are at 180 degrees. I skipped the ninth hour because it didn't really do much. Got up to 178. 
We're up to 180. And the temperature is still about 220 to 230 it's been averaging. We'll keep on going. Okay, quick update. It's been 11 hours and we're getting there slowly but surely. 187 degrees and the smoker's running at about 220 to 30 still. Okay, we got 12 hours and we are real close. 194, I'm gonna take it out at 195. Uh, what you wanna do is take her out and wrap it in tin foil, cover it up with a towel, maybe for at least a, a half hour. Okay, 12 hours and 7 minutes and we're, we're done. 196, we're going to pull her out and wrap her in tin foil, let her sit for a half hour. Okay, there's what it looks like. The meat's falling off the bone. This bone's real loose and that's the way it should be. Uh, well, we're going to wrap it up now. Okay, we got it wrapped up in tin foil and then just throw a towel on it and let it sit for about a half hour. Temperature is about 196. And it's 743, so maybe about 715. We can eat. Okay, we opened her up. Oh my god, it's delicious. Nice and juicy. Just take a couple of forks and start pulling it apart. So I'm going to finish taking off the meat and. We're going to have ourselves a sandwich, put it in the fridge, and have another sandwich tomorrow. Thanks for watching, everyone. Be good.